Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Aries, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Well, let's see Aries. Let's see what do we have for you. Let's see Aries. Give me this. Okay. What do we have for Aries? What do we have for Aries? Interesting. What I am getting because where, while I was shuffling, uh, we had um, that energy of uncommunicative or something like this. So what I am getting here that there is no contact situation between the two of you, it might be a case. However, things are going to change. With that energy, I feel that something here ended between the two of you, okay? Uh, it might be a case that um, this person distanced themselves or they ghosted you or there was a breakup. Um, maybe there is a separation between the two of you or indeed there was a divorce, but it feels here like there was an ending between the two of you or something here ended, changed drastically between the two of you in this connection. However, when we look at this imagery, right, Aries, it's like we have this heart broken, right? But it feels like it's healing. And then we have this big, huge, lovely heart here. And then we have true love on you and meeting. Aries, you have someone here with whom you might have indeed uh, ending with or something here seriously changed between the two of you. I feel this person might have ghosted you or it's like at the moment there is no contact situation, but things are going to change. It feels here very strongly that there will be a meeting between the two of you. And please take it how it resonates, because that meeting might be, you know, through the internet or it might be a meeting like a face to face meeting that you will essentially meet up with this person. And I see reconciliation. Reconciliation. Two people coming together and feeling that love. That it's still there between the two of you. Overall energy, we have self-focused career. For some of you, 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 you are dealing here with someone who is very career orientated. They're prioritizing their professional life at the moment. And it's like they kind of they acted very in a very selfish way. And you see them as someone who who indeed kind of uh, show they show themselves as someone who is very self-focused. But um, it feels here that things are going to change. There will be a meeting and there is a big chance for reconciliation between the two of you. Aries. Okay, let's see. Could you please show me? Um, could you please show me this person, this connection, what's truly is going on? King of Pentacles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look. We have a Hierophant, the Death card, and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. You might be dealing with Taurus. We have Scorpio energy. That is exactly this energy. Seven of Swords. Show me more, please. The Devil. Okay. Queen of Wands. And the Two of Pentacles. Ooh, hoo, hoo. okay. 
so you might be dealing with um, why I wanted to say Sagittarius you might have heavy placements in Sagittarius in your chart mm. or oh, this person has or you're dealing with Sagittarius you have Capricorn um, we have Capricorn indeed um, Taurus and Scorpio so far in this reading for you yeah King of Pentacles Hierophant to the death card Knight of Pentacles it's like it was a long time coming here uh, situation that took place what I mean is that there was an ending of connection for some of you were married to this person Hierophant it's a high level of commitment the death card that high level of commitment ended Mm -hmm. and I feel that you've been very very patient with this person but um, there was an ending there was an ending and um, for some of you you know I feel that there was an ending of some sort so if, if, if you weren't married to this person um, for some of you you were in a serious relationship or it's like it was it felt like this connection is go you know uh, it's going to be moved into into another level but it it looks like it was something serious like a serious connection at least it felt like this mm -hmm. king of pentacles for some of you the reason was one of the reasons i would say was uh this person career because king of pentacles can represent employment okay and we have this career energy in here as well so that's like this person starting prioritizing career maybe this person was uh, staying longer at work or something like this you know like they were always busy they never had time I'm getting and then we have a seven of swords the devil queen of wands and two of pentacles yeah it feels here that I'm getting third party third party got really involved for some of you that third party okay is that career that this person had started to prioritize over this connection because that queen of wands that represents third party doesn't have to be another person it can be uh, anything else like again professional life career uh, finances money um close related environment, um, lifestyle, habits, you know. But what I am also here getting very strongly is that this person was indeed, at some point, it felt like they were juggling you with another situation. For some of you, it, this person might have indeed put you in a third party situation. They were lying about this. They were sneaky. They were not fully transparent. They were trying to reassure you that everything is fine, but they were acting behind, a, behind your back in a completely different way. For some of you, there was a person involved. It's like they met through their workplace. It was their work colleague and they got involved in a situation And it felt like maybe they thought here that they could get away with it, but it didn't, it didn't happen. No. This is someone who was reassuring you that things ended between you and that third party. But I feel that at some point it still felt like this person is juggling you with another situation. So for some of you, that third party might be that career that this person really truly kind of prioritize them prioritize pro, excuse me prioritize it for some of you it can be a career and another person that got involved in that situation page of swords they are spying on you this is someone who's not over you if you have social media they are keeping tabs on you they are checking your stories what you're posting based on this day trying to figure out what's going on in your life if you don't have social media they are very curious in general in a both circumstances this is someone who is seriously thinking about you and they are very curious about you 
but this person treated the situation unfairly. Without justice, they were not fair and they were dishonest. That's why the ending happened. Show me this person's feelings towards Aries, please. Ace of Cups. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Show me this person's feelings towards Aries, please. Judgment. Yes. You might be dealing with Scorpio. Have very strong Scorpio in this reading for you. Oh yes. The Wheel of Fortune and we have the Star. Aquarius, Sagittarius, strong, very strong. Scorpio, Taurus as well, quite strong. Um, Leo. Five of Cups, look at that, Aries. That regret. <sighs> they feelings for you. This is someone here who wants to come and bring an offer of love. Judgment, they want to resurrect this connection. They want to meet up. This is someone based on this energy. It's very precise energy. I'm getting here that indeed for some of you, this is someone who wants to kind of um, meet up with you to discuss the situation. Wheel of Fortune, they want to change the circumstances. Oh, they do. They want to change the circumstances between the two of you. And with the star, they want to heal this. This is someone who wants to heal this, uh, this situation. They are full of hope that you will forgive them. Five of Cups. This person has regrets. It's, it's not that they, they don't. No. They, they have regrets because that's the overall energy for their feelings. This is someone who is, whatever they are or whatever it's happening in their life, they are, they are not satisfied with. They are not happy. And they, they regret their past actions. They, they do. Three of Cups, which represents happiness, joy and fulfillment. That's that energy that we are so positive about things that we want to celebrate. Look, it's in a completely different position. It's upright. Those cups are empty. There is no happiness. And this person has regrets. Two of Cups here, indeed. The, the love is still there and... The, this is someone who's missing this connection. This is someone who's missing your love, who is missing this relationship. They are missing those times together that they shared with you. And the love is still there. They, are, they still want to be with you. The question is, of course, if you want to be with them, right? But this person has regrets. They really regret their actions because they realized that whatever they got involved here uh, in or whatever they pro what, or that thing that they've prioritized over this connection, it didn't give them happiness. It was a mistake. And now they are thinking, they are reminiscing and they, this is also a card of sadness. This is also someone who's kind of gr grieving this connection, if I can say it that way. But they are not having a great time. Oh no. That's why in emotional level, they want to make an offer to resurrect this connection. This is someone who's coming back here to be given another chance. They want to change the circumstances between the two of you, bringing more happiness, joy, fulfillment, good luck and good fortune with the star. Yeah, they want to heal this. This is a nice energy. It feels here like this person is realizing that they made a huge mistake and at the time they didn't appreciate what they had. Love. Your love, Aries. Could you please show me this person's actions towards Aries? Actions, two of cups. Three of swords. Mm -hmm. Six. 
six of swords, eight of swords, three of wands. Yeah, makes sense. So in the actions Aries, this person indeed will come here with initiative and they will ask this two of cups, it's like two people meeting together and they will come with an offer to meet up with you. Mm -hmm, that's literal. But this person will reach out to you with the two of cups, they want to be with you. But I see based on this energy, for a lot of you, this is someone here who will reach out to you and they will ask, listen, are you free? Can we, can we, uh, do you have a time? Or it's like, do you have a minute? Can we just meet up for a coffee? And can we discuss the situation? Yeah. And the, I'm getting here very strongly that this person wants to talk about this free of sorts. For some of you, that divorce, that breakup that disappointment, that emotional disappointment that they brought to this connection. Six of Swords, it feels here like this person will kind of exp try to kind of explain it to you that um, they tried to kind of, it's like they will tell you here that they were unable to move on from you on a in, in kind of emotional and also intellectual level that that they've been always thinking about you that's what they uh, are going to tell this is also someone here who's who, who might tell you that they what they were thinking here of moving but it's like they don't want to move to another city or to a different state or um, maybe even to a different country they want to stay it's like this person will tell you here that they they are they that they were unable to get over you, Aries. And it's like I'm getting someone who is saying yes. That there were moments here that uh, I I felt that it's it it I'm I'm getting in, indeed someone saying something like I felt that maybe it's best thing for me to do. To kind of uh, distance myself from this but i wasn't able to do that because i am aware what i caused you and what i caused this connection that heartbreak that sadness that disappointment and with the three of wands it feels here that this person it's, it will say it's like listen I i'm willing to wait for you if you can forgive me because at the end of the day it's like we've always were meant to be together i see expansion growth with you i want to be with you and you only you will expect i feel that this person will try to come as honest as they can the question is here if you believe them you know aries that's 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 the question because it might be a case that you don't you know too much too much damage has been done i feel that this person really treated this connection appallingly really <sighs> but you have someone here who, reg who 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 has regrets and it's like they regret their past actions it wouldn't surprise me if this person of course judgment the will of fortune they're receiving their karma For some of you, if, if, if it's really involving another person and if they put you in a third party situation, this person will tell you here that things didn't work out between the two of them. But this is someone here who will claim that you are their true love, that they love you, that it was always you, uh, that they are unable here to kind of move on from this connection with you and they are themselves heartbroken over this the state of affairs regarding this connection that things ended between the two of you and that they caused this mm -hmm. that you have someone here who wants to really meet up or they want to talk in order to kind of resurrect this connection let's see could you please show me the outcome 
two of wands king of wands nine of swords what we have four of pentacles ten of wands king of swords nine of wands at the bottom of the deck we have a six of wands strong wands energy uh, aries you might be dealing with leo sagittarius and other aries yeah i'm seeing here you know it's a quite complex situation because uh, Overall energy with the Six of Wands suggests that this person is coming because they want your attention. They will be giving you a lot of attention as well. But it's like, it, it is a sign that this connection can be a successful one. However, I'm seeing you being very selective with your energy, holding back because you have trust issues, obviously, with the Nine of Wands. You don't trust this person. King of Swords. Uh, I'm getting here that, you know, there is there is this kind of possibility that, that at some point, oh, it's like you will give this person a cold shoulder because it's just that 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 situation was just too much for you. And you don't want to be put once again in that sort of kind of circumstances. You know, it can be a case. I feel that you're going to express that, you know, you were the one who was trying to, who was doing all the work and at some point it felt like a one-sided relationship and what do you want from me now? Do you want me to believe you? Do you want me to forgive, forgive you? Fine, but you coming here and wanting to be in a relationship, that's, it's not that easy. You can't just, you cannot just, you know, show up and telling me all those beautiful things, claiming that I am your true love based on what happened here between the two of us. I'm seeing someone saying things like this. I'm seeing you being very, very, having your guard up because I completely understand why you would have and you are setting boundaries. And it's something that you are certain about. Two of Wands with the King of Wands, Nine of Swords. The thing is here that this person here, King of Wands... Uh, King of Wands is that very interesting energy because it re represents someone who can be very charismatic, very ambitious, very creative, someone who has that natural X factor, they know exactly what to say. I feel that this person will try to uh, come across as someone who's very confident, but um, you, will, you will see momentarily like this person, indeed it's not having a great time, that they have guilty conscience that they are losing sleep over you. They might even tell you that. But this King of Wands has a plan. And we have the Two of Wands, which is essentially card of planning. Uh, if Here is the thing, Aries. It depends on you, as most of the time I'm saying in my readings, because it can go both ways. For some of you, I believe that, you know, uh, you, want, you might want this person back because you kind of you know you have feelings for them maybe there is a history between the two of you maybe there are other things that they are bonding you with this person but it's like if that's the case i see this person apologizing and expressing remorse and regret wanting to be with you if 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 that's the case and indeed you kind of feel that you kind of can give this person another chance I'm seeing here that uh, this is someone who will have to really prove it to you that they deserve your attention and you considering giving them a chance. I don't see you taking this person, what I mean by this, I don't see you taking this person back to your life immediately. I'm seeing them being in touch with you, you know, step, step by step, small steps, baby steps in order to fully kind of reassure you that things change. And I see them at this time doing the whole work in order to prove it to you that they means business, that they are serious about this and there is no BS going on. Mm -hmm. And if that's the case, this person is willing here to indeed, uh, to put some work. Yes, but for some of you, it might be a case that it's too late right damage has been done 
and it's like you are focusing here on something new and you kind of i feel that you will emphasize here that this person gave you a headache that there was a lack of justice you see we have this scale you might be dealing with libra regarding relationship to people love and this is what is this is like a jar i guess some of you, you might be dealing with Aquarius. But it's like this Nine of Swords. This is someone who not only give, gave you a headache, they gave you a migraine. And it's, and it's very well now them, you know, having a guilty conscience. But you might feel, well, I didn't create that situation. However, I can see, indeed, for, 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 for some of you, I can see reconciliation. I can see reconciliation between the two of you. But it's like this person will really have to go an extra mile. But at some point, I can see reconciliation. Both people coming together and you giving this person a chance. So at the end of the day, it really depends on you how you feel about the situation, Aries. But I can tell you here, based on this reading, that this person is sorry. That they have regrets. Mm -hmm. So there will be no time for boredom. Not at all. In the coming month. For some of you, this is someone who will reach out within two days, six weeks. I don't know why six weeks. I said six weeks, I wanted to say six days. But I'm getting here that it's very, very much, I'm getting energy of, of February more. That things are going to, starting to unfold in that direction. Either way, expect this person to indeed come with an offer of reconciliation. Aries, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Aries, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.